Hello and welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI. We're going to talk about something really fun, wireless. Wireless connectivity, how does it work with NDI? How does it work with a smartphone? How can you bridge multiple networks together over Wi-Fi? Let's talk about it in this video. So my presentation uh, just is going to start by letting you know that we've obviously covered a lot of content regarding NDI. And these are, right now we've made it to wireless NDI and smartphones. Next up, we'll be powering NDI video displays. And if you want to read a chapter of any of these topics, you know, the, the book is totally free to download and you can get the book and you know, really dig deep into this. But today, we're really just talking about applications. How is this actually being used? We're going to show it off being used and then, um, you know, really kind of get hands on with it in the video tutorial. So using a smartphone with NDI allows you to use regular Wi-Fi over your local area network using a wireless access point to connect to the network, to connect to the local area network. And from there, you can then ingest that video into a video production software like OBS, Wirecast, vMix, a new tech TriCast, or many, many solutions. And from there, stream out to YouTube, Facebook, etc. So it's a local area network technology. That's where you get really low latency and high quality, and you're going to see the quality in just a moment. You may have seen the quality throughout this video tutorial because we use our NDI camera quite often. Uh, and I'm actually going to use it today with a stabilizer. If I show the ceiling camera here, you'll see this. Um, I've got a stabilizer. And so this is a stabilizer here. I'm going to turn it on in a moment. I have the NDI app here. We can zoom in on the app for just a minute. Um, let's see if we can do that. The, uh, what I'll do is I'll just show the Wi-Fi app. Uh, there we go. That's the Wi-Fi app. And you can see I can turn off and on NDI. I have a couple different options for connectivity, show, muting, sending audio and video. This Wi-Fi app is great. You can get it on the iOS or the Android store. You can switch the camera view. So now you can actually see the ceiling camera above uh, by switching the the views there, you've got some uh, ability to turn off and on the auto brightness, and then you've got some different safe areas for control. You do have the ability to zoom in and out. Okay, so that's kind of nice. You don't have the virtual PTZ, that would be nice. But they also have like the ability to kind of do some adjustments within your, your smartphone's camera. And then, um, you know, you can get rid of all of that too. So this actually looks really good with a stabilizer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the stabilizer on. Let's go ahead and turn that on there. There we go. And I'm going to switch that camera back to forward facing. And I just want to show really quickly the video from this camera. So with a stabilizer, you can see it, it really looks good. Um, this is going over Wi-Fi. So your, the video is being recorded in our video production system. But if you look up, oops, sorry, other way, if we look up here, this is our wireless access point. So this is part of our network. It's connected via Ethernet, and it's actually powered over Ethernet. And this is a gigabit capable, I believe, actually, I shouldn't say that. I, I, I know it's gigabit connected to our network. I'm not sure if it's ca capable of transmitting a full gigabit or not um, to our larger Unify Ubiquity networking system. Um, but it certainly has enough bandwidth to support all of the devices on our network and really high quality video, as you can see again. And this is a product we'll talk about that does long range wireless. This is the PTZ Optics wireless cable, a product that we'll be talking about for connecting multiple NDI connections together. But I just wanted to start by showing off the smartphone. So let's go to the next slide here. So iOS and Android apps, they have a lot of great features. We looked at a few of them today, extremely easy to, easy to use. Just make sure that your smartphone is on the same network, right, by via Wi-Fi as the video production system that you're trying to use. 
The apps are $20 and they're available for iOS and Android. Now, if you'd like to go wireless long distances, hundreds of meters, and you need to maybe connect two different NDI networks together, the PTZ Optics wireless cable allows you to have two pairs um, that will wirelessly connect two spaces together, your computer to a camera or your computer to a larger network. It's totally up to you. You can connect that together. And it, it really works like a wireless cable. It has no uh, configuration necessary. Um, this is just showing it's set up for sports to have a camera, you know, a couple hundred feet away and just use NDI. The nice thing about NDI as opposed to, you know, wireless HDMI or wireless SDI is that the Ethernet does provide that control capabilities and all of the other nice things that NDI allows for. So by connecting a wireless cable just directly to your network through a network switch, you can enable the second wireless cable to go up to, you know, 400 meters away to capture, you know, NDI video connectivity. Now, when we're talking about Wi-Fi and wireless connectivity in general, there are some symptoms of a misconfigured network. And this is gonna get a little technical. Um, and that's why in the book, I link to an article from our lead engineer, Matthew Davis, who's really outlined specifically about ubiquity network switches, but outlined and worked with NDI to create a, you know, some knowledge base articles on how to configure wireless networks to work well with NDI, including MDNS and multicast. So those are two things you really want to uh, take a look at when you're configuring your wireless networks. And NDI does not have, as far as I know, a specific recommended wireless networking piece of hardware. So it's good that Matt Davis has the knowledge base on ubiquity because there are different features and different firmware additions for wireless networking equipment that may not feature everything we need, uh, especially on the less expensive wireless systems. But that's why, again, the PTZ Optics wireless cable kind of comes into play as a plug and play device that uh, transmit wireless via NDI video over a point to point system. So key takeaways, your modern smartphone can become a camera, wirelessly send video directly into your system. You can set up a network to handle wireless video transmission, but it's gonna require a little bit of network optimization. If it just works, that's great, you got lucky, but a lot of people do struggle with wireless video over NDI, using a NDI video, high quality video over a wireless network. As you can see, it works for us. We use it all the time. Um, and then the wireless cable system is built to provide longer length wireless connection options for you know, more important video production setups. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know, have you ever had issues with wireless connectivity for video? Are you using NDI over a Wi-Fi connection? Let me know, I'd love to hear about it. I'll see you in the next video.